Hello and welcome back to Point to Play Games for some more Gibbos to Cthulhu adventure. Last time we finally managed to get the uh, clerk or, I don't know, manager of this apartment complex or hotel to allow us up into the room held by Bob Olmstein or Olmstev, uh, as he's known in France. On top of that, we managed to figure out a little puzzle involving some books and these candles. And upon the discovery, we managed to find this ladder going downwards. Well, the ladder goes up, but it came down from the ceiling. So, either way. But with that, we're going to go up there and see what's going on. Well, this is, this is great. There's feathers, which I believe is a calling card of Olmstein. We have a container, Paris, and some junk. So let's start checking things out. Crow's feathers, scattered all around. What the heck? The place looks like it's been ransacked, but maybe that's just the aesthetic. I'm sure there's some kind of significance here, but it escapes me. Um. Wait. Olmstead gave a crow's feather pen to serve. What does that mean? Everything has to be hermetical, doesn't it? Hmm. I don't really need them. Okay, so I think obviously we should use the Haunter's Mark. So let's see. Corvus. Corvi. Corvinus. What? Okay. So that's information, if nothing else. I'll be damned. That's gotta be what I'm looking for. The container of Constance, as it were. Huh. We just got something in her diary. No visible way of opening the container. I wonder if I need something else here. Oops. So we have a hook, we have a flyer, we have junk, and we have Paris. Still Paris. Still in the rain. This seems to be a theme. Poetic, but I don't have time for it. Fine. Bonsoir, Perry. All right, just for the sake of it. All right, it's gonna be the same reaction, isn't what it? Like a cacophony. Too many damn people. Yeah. All right, so let's check out the junk real quick. There's a lot of junk in here. I'm not going through all of it. Got to keep my eyes on the prize. I have to stop getting distracted. <laughs> I, I do. I still love how the game just sort of uh, uh, pokes fun at the fact that you just want to click everything in these games. Um, let's keep looking at this container. Sure put up a fight, didn't you, Olmstef? Or Olmstein, or whatever. I was very angry. Come to daddy. Alright. There's no apparent latch or handle, and it looks firmly locked. Okay, so we're obviously going to have to use... Flamilus Necessarium Est. Florian? Haunter's Mark said Flamilus Necessarium Est. I ain't no Latin scholar, but I'm willing to bet it means I need Flamel to open the container. You mean like this flyer? Just apply Flamel. Yes. It, it worked. That was the easiest puzzle. But there's only a page here? What? Huh. A solitary page. Looks like it was torn out of a book. Is this it? Really? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Ecce. Stratera. Alright, let's uh, see what this says. Huh. Interesting. I should tell Buzz about this right away. He'd, be He'd better have a cell phone signal. Oops, I accidentally clicked through that, but I love how it leaves us as the player on the cliffhanger, but now we have Chapter 5 of Transylvania. So now we're going to switch to Buds and Kite, I guess. Oh well, look, it's Vlad the Impaler. 
Ugh, not having phone signal or internet sucks so <laughs> bad. Rare occurrence like that helps us any. Sure, it took a lot to get from Bucharest to this Forum Maris place. More than crossing the ocean, I might add. It's this blasted storm that defies the laws of physics popping in and out of nowhere all over the world. Did you hear the driver saying it was messing with the GPS? Wait, where'd that accent come from? This? Well, what are my ancient stomping grounds doing to me? Kite, I think this is the real me. <sighs> it never ends. Well, we're here. Charming town, your ancestral home. You will, of course, understand my apprehension and distrust of this place. Me being a black cat and everything? It isn't still the Middle Ages here, dummy. And as long as you're not excessively loud, people tend to not notice you can speak. Let's find peace. Right behind you. Cool. Oh, we have an 1805. Was that a ticket? Um, yeah, it's a bus ticket. Alright, so we have a sad mask. Really? So we have the statue, sad mask, city hall. We can go up to the left. A light bulb, a tourist information, trash, a carriage, and a badly lit street. How creepy. Alright, so let's avoid talking to people first. Let's do everything else. It's a tourist info thing about the statue and town in general. Yep, just as I suspected. It's a Vlad. Can I? It's way too hot to touch, and I don't see a light switch. Okay, we'll have to. We're probably gonna have to need that for some reason, but we can review that later. The whole numbering thing with lords and rulers speaks volumes of their imagination when it comes to names. It's a tourist info thing. Okay. Yep, just. Alright, and. A pretty powerful light bulb illuminated. That's cool. I dare not even. Oops. Alright. Uh. Let's look at the trash. It's literal trash. You'll probably pick it up. Maybe I will. <laughs> oh, I'm convinced you will. Okay, I'm picking it up. Good. Great. Look, I am picking it up. That's just swell, buddy. You better believe it. I do. Fine. Good. I... That's hilarious. That was that was really good. That was really funny. That little banter right there. Um, so again, we can talk to the local man, but I'm just kind of curious. So there's an inn. Again, we have the carriage, a badly lit street. It's a particularly badly lit street, probably leading outside of town. Intriguing, yes, but it's sure not inviting. Not without the protection of some kind of vehicle. Okay, right, because that... That's how we're going to need the bus ticket, or... Alright, so let's... Before we really get too far away... I want to first look at this. It's where the mayor of Fotomari toils away, serving the citizens. Lights on. Must be a lot of work managing this quaint little town. Apparently. So, a dark door. Okay. So, let's first talk to the people who are right here. A fine example of the local populace. Is he? He looks very, um, very, well, um, uh, determined. It's an interesting... Okay, I've made up my mind. I like this dude. Cool. She doesn't speak the language either. Oh really? Hi. No serus ma. No, ni ma la el ce palid e. Ma ești bine ma frățioare. Ni ma la el ce tras la față e ma săracu. Că zici că nu mânca nimic de 3 zile. Tu lai Silvie. Da cum ai ajuns aici ma? De unde e? De unde e fi ma? De a cu ești? Cu curat ai venit. Ni ma și umblă cu mâța aia după el. Hai! Vi la el ma zici că de la Circus. Mâță neagră, mă, umblă după el, gândești că-i câne. Bată-te, norocul să te bat. Have you seen a foreign girl around here lately? Ce, mă, fete străine aici? Du-te, mă, de aici, mă. Auzi la el, fete-i trăbă. 
Nu l-ai, doamne, dar păi tu vii aici de unde un țărcat dracu copchii să cați fete. Dar păi, voi n-aveți femei acolo, mă, doamne, iartă-mă și nu mă bate. Bă, n-am mai văzut eu nicio muiere, mă, numai de ale noastre, de aici, de ale locului. Ok, any idea where I could look for her? Da, păi numai Dumnezeu bunuțul știe, dar păi eu de unde să știu, mă, copile? Da, păi, vezi tu, ești un han acolo așa, ni, îi zice hanul vieții, așa îi zice. Și apoi mergi tu frumos acolo pe chișoarele tale, în avida și tăi frumoși, și apoi întrebi tu acolo, no, că poate știu oamenii, poate nu știu. Îi vede tu când ajungi acolo, no, bine, mergi frumos cu mâța după tine, What? tu mai mă, 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 bă, bă, fainiz, mă, neam de neamul meu nu o așa ceva. Thanks, are you from around here? Da cum, mă? Dar de din tată în fiu suntem aici, mă, cu, cu oile, da cum, mă? Dar păi de când mă știu eu, mă? Și apoi de când erau moșii mei, mă, tată mi-o va să So this game can only break the fourth wall or say I'm in a game more if it just says I have no idea what he said. It's a good thing I could read the, uh, the floating text, which is... Weird weather we're having, huh? Yeah, oh my God! Bine, ce zici, mă, tare duba și vreme, mă, mă, eu de când mă știu așa ceva n-am văzut. Apoi când plouă, când e soare, de vine țarușcă mea așa jos. Când se supără sunt ilie și apoi trântește o putune de, de să cacă ciorile pe ele, mă, de frică, nu mai știi cum se îmbraci. Doamne feri, ca, ca așa ceva de când mă munca m-a făcut, eu n-am mai văzut. Ascultă tu la mine! Alright, bye! No, bine, dragul tati, te-am țucat, mă, du-te, du-te, că te-or aștepta, și apoi dacă nu te așteaptă, nu o las, că vă că vii. Du-te, că mi-ești drag, mă, cu mâța după tine, nimă mă la ei, mă, mă, bă, fainis, piu, să nu-i de ochi. Du-te, dragă, merg cu Dumnezeu, te-am țucat, serus, serus. Wow. I mean, just, ok, time to, let's, let's go. That was something else. A man in what I think is a traditional mask. He looks really distressed as far as I can tell. Man, that's one cool looking mask. I'd wear that mask everywhere if it was socially acceptable. Masks? Absolutely own, Jesus. Uh, good evening? The castle. Must make it to the castle. Castle? Must reach castle. Must defend castle. I'm afraid I can't help you with that, sir. Okay, so that was uh, English, which is very different than what I was expecting. So you have a red gate, a cable, a dark room, and just literally a giant sign that says Transylvania. Okay. Let's go right to left we'll start with the inn i realize we're kind of leaving a few things behind here but we're going to look at this carriage we're going to start with the inn and then we're going to kind of go from there what a quaint little horse-drawn carriage good to know there's a functioning vehicle around here that oh <laughs> good horsey i can't drive this coachman has to be around though kid a be nice to the horsey what did i say or do anything just being preemptive, that's all. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, that is fair enough. All right, so let's head on into the inn. What a lovely place. Just stay alert. I can smell the tension in the air. That's probably just customers waiting for their meals to arrive. It takes time to dice up the meat enough to hide the stab wounds. <sighs> that's funny. Okay, so we're in this interesting little place. We have a self, as always, just a great way to describe it. So we have a self-involved gentleman and a guy enjoying food. Oh, what is that? Oh, a thick glove. Okay, there's a thick glove that somehow made its way up there. Can't imagine how that would happen, but there it is. Hmm, do I need that glove? I think I do. I think, I think I want it. Sorry about that. As has often been the case, can't reach it. How about Kit A? Yo, Kitty, I need your climbing skills to get that glove up there. But do it, uh, do it stealthily, okay? Gotcha. Gotcha. 
I'm an ninja. Show off. <laughs> <laughs> an ninja. Oh my god. Well, uh, uh, bad joke aside, we we now have our glove. I just want to do this. Vinegar, Ben Fork, guy enjoying food. Okay. Um, can we take this? Looks like a vial of vinegar. Hmm. I kind of kind of wanted. I'm glad that it's kind of gotten away from saying things in any other way than I want watch that. Watch out! What? What? You just said watch out. I did? Oh, I did. What? Oh, watch out! That there is not vinegar. It's not. What? No, it's a powerful solvent. I, uh, uh, I mislabeled it. <laughs> Silly me. Nearly killed myself with it. Not to mention me. Can I still have it? What? Yes, yes, take it. Just don't put it in your salad. What? What? Oh, darn it, now I'm doing it too. Uh, thanks. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. It's a fork with very bent tines. Someone must have taken it to a particularly hard stake. It's sort of pitiful looking. It fits Buzz. I mean, who knows? It might come in handy. Wow. I mean, as always, it's a very interesting set of things that have brought us here. So, we can talk to the self-involved gentleman, the guy enjoying food. Ooh. Innkeepers. An impressive collection of pictures. It is quite impressive. Look, there's one, two, three, four... Five pictures. That's quite interesting. Hey, it's an old-timey radio. Charming. I guess it comes in handy when all other communications are jammed. And uh, welcome back, listeners, throughout Transylvania and indeed the whole of Romania. That was, um, uh, let me see here. Hmm. Oh, well, apparently I have no idea who was thinking that, but, uh, oh boy, what a stinker. Maybe we're better off not ever knowing, right? Right, well, never mind that. You know that's the exception right here on Garlic Radio, because we only play the top Transylvanian hits. Uh, uh, uh. It's your boy, wait, no, it's your main man, Yanku, and we'll be spending the next hour or so together, so buckle up, everybody. No, seriously. Whether you are in an autonomous or animal traction vehicle, wear the seatbelts. Please, they don't put those potholes in the road for nothing, you know what I'm saying? Ah, 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 ah. Ooh, I crack myself up sometimes. Anyway, dear listeners, here's a weather update. We have no idea what's happening anymore. Darn it, weather. What is this? Some kind of a joke? And what's this hurricane, Herbie, or whatever they call it, doing here? Hurricane? In my Transylvania? And not only that, apparently it's messing with the GPS and internet in certain areas. I'm told the uh, Forum Maris is affected by this. Well, Forum Marisians, I hope you're receiving this. You should at least have a garlic radio in your life, am I right? Sure, I'm right. All righty. Where were we? Caller, you're on the air. You're on the air. Yanko? Yes, you're on the air, friend. Oh, I can't. Wait. Is it really Yanko? Yes, it's a me. You're on the air. I can't decide whether oh, I can oh. keep. Okay. Oh, I can. Oh, I can keep doing things and this will keep going. Uh, that's actually kind of funny. All right. I'll bet that guy spends hours in the mirror daily. Hmm. I'm going to I'm going to turn this off real quick. Perfect. All right. Well, 
unfortunately we're out of time for today we did make a little bit of progress finding a little bit of information at the very start as Don Archetype, although apparently we don't get to know what that is because he was going to call Buzz, but he doesn't have a cell signal or internet. Um, but either way, we've gotten to start our time in Transylvania as Buzz and Kitte, and uh, we're now in this quaint inn, and we'll just have to pick that up next time. Anyways, thank you very much for joining me once again here at Point to Play Games, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.